These surgeons have been at work for two hours. Their patient has colon cancer. The operation will take at least another four hours. But the doctors and nurses at Bochum's Augusta Foundation Clinic are getting help from a robot colleague called Da Vinci. He can manipulate surgical instruments far more precisely than mere humans. Head surgeon Ben O'Man guides Da Vinci. Each of his movements is replicated in the patient's body by the robot's arms. Every cut is accurate down to the last millimetre. A robot never gets tired. I'm the surgeon and it stays that way. The robot simply makes the work easier and does what I want to do inside the patient extremely exactly and precisely. If I'm performing conventional surgery, I'm standing here like this, you can imagine that after two or three hours, I can't do it very well anymore. I start to get wobbly and shaky. While Ben O'Man is operating, the hospital kitchen is running at full tilt. It turns out 1,200 meals every day. Robots fetch the food carts, each one assigned to a specific ward. They navigate the hospital's long corridors to get the food hot and safe to the patients, entirely without human help. The transport robots avoid collisions with patients and staff. They find their own way to their pre-programmed destinations. When a robot arrives, it's time for the nurses to start serving lunch. Many of our patients are fascinated. They hang round until the robots arrive or they ask when the food's coming so they can come and watch. The Augusta Clinic managed to save 20 jobs with the robots without actually having to lay anyone off. Management had higher priorities. Finding a qualified nurse has become rather difficult these days. Requiring them to do things which have very little to do with patient care, like moving trolleys around, is a waste of resources. And then you're inclined to ask who could help out there. And so we simply shifted the tasks around. Soon robots will also be helping out with routine medical tasks like measuring blood pressure or taking temperatures. A nurse still takes the temperature, but machines like this will update the medical records. That will leave nursing staff more time for their patients.